Friendly greetings, I'm Torley Linden, your host, and in this session, I'm going to show you how to record, edit, and upload sounds for enjoyment in Second Life. Now, the first thing you may have noticed is, hey, this ain't Second Life, and you're absolutely right. This is Audacity, a free cross-platform sound editor. It works on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Free, free, free. The price is good, right? <laughs> so the first thing we'll do, file menu and open. And you can open an MP3 file. You probably have one of these. I'll just go ahead and click it and then click to open. So now it will take a few moments to convert this. And here it is, the waveform, a visual display of the sound file. If I press the play button, it'll play and play back to me what it sounds like. Ooh, it's got water drops. Okay, great. Now, I can't upload this whole thing into Second Life. The reason why is because sound uploads are constrained to 10 seconds. So it means, looking at this time meter, I'm going to have to trim, trim, trim this down. I can do that very easily by, let's see, this is about the 10 second mark, clicking. I'll click in here and I'll drag so it's all selected. And then I can press the delete key or I can go to edit menu and I can delete that. Either way will work, but what we have right here now, and I can go and click this zoom button to zoom in. So yes, it is shorter just by a hair than 10 seconds. Now, you can do all sorts of fancy things. Let me play that back. Let me just go right here, position and push play. Okay, good. That shows us the playback. Ah, I want to apply some effects right here in the effect menu. You'll notice that if you, let's see, I can go and click and drag to select, then I can go to effects and I can, for example, reverse the playback. So now it'll be like that. Pretty trippy, it sounds like laser beams now. The next thing we can do is we can record a new track. And this is as easy as clicking the record button right up here. So, provided I'm gonna do that, boom ch boom ch boom ch boom ch boom ch boom ch and stop when you're done recording. Very fancy. But that goes past 10 seconds, so what do we do? Some more clever editing, of course. Click and drag this part here. And with this tool, you can shuffle it and move it right over. It doesn't need to be perfect, but let me see here. Click and drag again, and I can move it all the way back. Now, when I'm going to zoom out a bit, doo -doo -doo, and zoom back in. Let's see what, how we're doing, how we're coming along here. Good. Okay, so it's got the laser water drops and it's got my beatboxing shortly afterwards and it's still under 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and play back the result. Let me click at the beginning. So let's see here. Oh, I have to go and click. Let me go back and click the eye beam tool and now I'll click near the beginning right there so you can see that's where playback is going to start. And since this is multi-track, they will play at the same time. And <laughs> I can chop off my little and at the end too. Click and drag it, and I just push delete, and it's gone. So what we have here are the makings of a rather, rather promising sound file. And you'll also notice there are these little details that you don't have to worry so much about because Audacity takes care of the conversion process for the most part. When uploading sounds to Second Life, they must be 10 seconds or less and must be 16-bit and 44.1 kilohertz or 44,100 hertz, and they can be mono or stereo. But when I export this now, like I'm going to show you, it will take care of that for me. So let's go to File menu, then Export as WAV file. And now, yes, it's going to give me a warning. It's going to be mixed down. I understand that. It's all right. Click OK. And let's output it as Boomshack. Just a fun name. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And it's saved. 
Now I'm going to follow up in Second Life with you. Stay tuned. We've returned to the outro world of Second Life. Now, you'll want to go to the file menu and upload sound. This is exactly what we want, so go ahead and click on that. And right here, it'll ask you to find the sound. Boomshack.wave is right here. And when that's done, go ahead and click open. Easy as that. It'll ask you to fill out this information. This is optional. I recommend generally leaving bitrate the same. Bigger can mean higher quality, but longer time to load and stream. So click upload. And let's give it a few moments. The sound will appear in our inventory in the sounds folder. As you can see, and each sound you upload costs 10 linden dollars. OK, that. When I click this button, it will play in world. And the closer I am to my avatar, because my avatar is the sound source, the louder it'll be. So let me zoom in a little bit closer here, right up to my nose, <laughs> and play in world. Haha, <laughs> it worked! Even better still, wouldn't it be nice to have it as a gesture? You can set that up easily by going to Gestures, and I'll go ahead and right click and New Gesture. You notice I have some previous ones here. I'm going to make a new one, and I'm going to name it Boom. So I double click this Boom, and it fills in some of the information for me which I want to change. I'll change the trigger, which is what sets off and plays the gesture to Boom, and replace it with the word Boom, which is very suitable. Now these are the steps. You'll notice there's already a sound step. If there's not, you can add one from the left. But I can change the sound step by clicking here, and you'll notice Boom Shack, which I just recorded, is right here. And if you're wondering why a sound isn't showing up in here that you have in your inventory, it's probably because it doesn't have full permissions. But of course, all things that you upload, you'll have all those rights to. And I can click here to change the animation. A wave is not so suitable for a boom. I think a dance would be very good. So dance, dance four. And let's try that. And click active to activate the gesture. So now we can save it. Give it a few moments. And then I'm going to close this and close that. And I'm going to zoom out with my camera. And as you can see, when I type, in the chat bar, or if I go to the gestures menu, boom is available to me. So if you type in the chat bar, forward slash and boom, it will auto-complete, and then you can press enter and trigger your gesture with sound. <laughs> and that is exactly how you record, edit, and upload a sound into Second Life. Please let me know what you come up with. Send your gestures my way. You can go ahead and do that by going to search and looking for me. All, look for Torley Linden, then click search, and here's where you'll find me. Click this and view my profile as it shows right there. Then go to your inventory and go ahead and drag and drop that gesture right on my profile. And like that, you've sent it to me. <laughs> I look forward to hearing what you've come up with and have a yezeramic time in Second Life.